From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, I will praise His holy name. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, I will praise, I will praise His name. Hallelujah. 4210. Isaiah 4210. And it says, ah, I should have known that. Yeah, you should have. Yeah. <laughs> Shame on me. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise from the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea and all that is in it. You islands and those who dwell on them. Let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voices, the settlements where Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Salah sing aloud. Let them shout for joy from the tops of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord will go forth like a warrior. He will arouse his zeal like a man of war. He will utter a shout. Yes, he will raise a war cry. He will prevail against his enemies. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he will prevail against his enemies. Amen. Let them shout for joy. Let them shout for joy. You want to know about spiritual warfare? <laughs> spiritual warfare is when the Lord God Almighty goes out and does the battle. That's and we just stand there and cheer him on. That we shout for joy, that we sing his praises. Hallelujah. That's when things change. And you know what? When you know that it's a done deal, when you know that the victory is yours, when you are confident that the, the battle is the Lord's and the victory is the Lord's, you will have a perfect peace. Right. When you know the outcome. You know, if you have a favorite football team mm -hmm. and you're at church on Sunday or in fellowship or on Saturday, what Tuesday, a Monday night football, and you're in fellowship instead of watching the silly boob. That's it, I'm not going there. Yeah. So you record it, you put it on the DVR, and you know you go home to watch it, and somebody tells you, well, you know your favorite team, they won. Well, you still watch the game. And in the middle, it's, there are 10, 10 points, 10 points. There are, there are a bunch of... Points down. <laughs> you haven't watched football in a I long time. I watched football a long time. <laughs> football, uh, touchdown, six points, yeah. extra point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so kick, three in, the, in the middle of the game, you know, I come halftime, come the, the end of the second, the third quarter, your team is behind. But you know the final score. Well, you're not going to be troubled. No. You'll have a perfect peace about the That's game true. because you know the outcome. Yeah. Well, we know the outcome. Yes, we do. <laughs> you know, it's when you when you are certain of the outcome. What's going to shake you? Nothing. Nothing. That's where you have to get to. You have to get to that place where you are sure of the outcome. You know where you get that? In the Word of God. Amen. Because it is written. From Genesis to Revelation. From Genesis 1 to Revelation 22. It's done. It's over. It is written. No promise that God has promised has failed to come to pass. He watches over his word to perform it. You are precious in his sight if you will only trust him. If you will trust him, if you will walk according to the Spirit, then you'll know what it means in Isaiah 55 when it says, You shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Thank you, Lord. The joy is connected to the peace. Yes, it is. All of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You're going to see the, the links from each one. And by the way, that means because they are connected, if you lose one, you're going to lose them all. That's right. You can't, you can't say, well, I'm doing all right on these, but this is a... No, you know what? You have to determine that you are going to be faithful to the Lord because the Lord is faithful to you. And it is His Holy Spirit who is at work within you. Mm. It is God Almighty, the potter, who is at work in your life, both to work and to will His good pleasure. He is able. There is nothing in your life that God can't deal with. If you would just, well, I have another song for you. Surrender all. <laughs> when you can surrender all because you trust in His love in your life, you are going to see a life that has changed and a oh, life yeah. that reflects the light of God, the light of, the, of Jesus Christ into this very dark, dark world. The Lord God wants to use you, mm. to bless you, but for his glory. And that should be our goal, 
is the glory of his name. Hallelujah. Just praise the Lord. Just praise the Lord. No matter what Rejoice. goes on, Rejoice. praise the Lord. Is, I, you know, I, know, I hate to say there's a formula for success in the word, but there is absolutely there are formulas in the word. Absolutely. And one of the formulas here in well in, in First Thessalonians, I like First Thessalonians. Yes, yeah. In the fifth chapter of First Thessalonians, you, here's what it says. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all things, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the Holy Spirit. Yeah. One really quick thing. In the Old Testament, when the, the Jews get out of Egypt, what did they do? Great complain and moan. That's the opposite of Absolutely. love, joy, and peace. Absolutely. Or of joy and peace. And they lost their joy, they lost their peace. And they never made it into the promised no. land. So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets. And when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted with a great shout, and the wall fell down flat. So that the people went up into the city, every man straight ahead, and they took the city.